Ice Cream, The Full Scoop, written by Gail Gibbons. Ice cream cones, ice cream bars, ice cream sodas. Ice cream is a frozen treat made mostly of cream, milk, sugar, and flavorings. Almost everyone loves to eat sweet, cold ice cream. No one really knows how or when the first ice cream was made. Some believe that people mixed snow, milk, and rice together in China about 3,000 years ago. About 700 years ago, a famous Italian trader, Marco Polo, came home from China bringing recipes for flavored ices. Chefs for European royalty experimented with new combinations of icy treats. Finally, cream was added, and there was a new dessert we now call ice cream. About 300 years ago, the British brought ice cream recipes to the American colonies. Ice cream was made by shaking the icy mixture in a special pan for a long time. Only the wealthy were served ice cream because it was so difficult to get ice to make it. About 250 years ago, some Americans started harvesting ice from ponds and lakes in the winter. It was stored in ice houses and also shipped to the south. Now people could make ice cream year round. It was served only at special events. In 1841, a woman from New Jersey named Nancy Johnson invented the hand-cranked ice cream maker, also called an ice cream freezer. Now ice cream could be made a lot faster by just turning a crank. The ice cream maker became very popular. It took only one hour to turn the ice cream mixture into creamy ice cream. Two of the earliest flavorings for ice cream were vanilla and chocolate. Vanilla flavoring was made from powdered vanilla beans. Chocolate flavoring was made from powdered cocoa beans. Throughout the 1800s, people held ice cream socials. This became a popular way to entertain friends. Everyone took turns cranking the ice cream maker. Then they shared the ice cream. Some people still enjoy using ice cream makers to make their favorite ice cream. To the ice cream mix, People add blueberries, raspberries, maple syrup, for whatever flavor they wanted. The ice cream business. Cows. It all still begins at the dairy farm. The cows are milked twice a day. Some cows, such as Jersey cows, give creamier milk than others. The milk is piped to a cooling tank. The milk is kept cool so it won't spoil. A truck comes to the dairy farm. The milk is pumped into the tank of the truck, where it is still kept cool. The milk is delivered to the ice cream factory. Other trucks are there too. Some hold liquid sugar. Other trucks deliver many products that make up the different flavors of ice cream. At the factory, the milk is put into a separator. This is where the cream and milk are separated from each other. Cream, milk, and liquid sugar are put into a large vat. Then stabilizers and emulsifiers are added. All these ingredients are mixed together. Then the mixture is put into a pasteurizer. Here, the mix is heated to kill any harmful bacteria. This is called pasteurization. The temperature inside the pasteurizer gets up to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit, 77 degrees Celsius. Next, the mixture flows into a homogenizer, which breaks down any small particles of butterfat. The homogenizer forces the mix through tiny valves under pressure, which makes the mixture smooth. Now it's time for the mix to be cooled. It is moved to a cooler and stays there for a few hours. The temperature inside the cooler is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, which makes the mixture firmer. Then the thick mixture is pumped into a freezer. Inside the freezer, blades spin around, forcing air into the ice cream mix, making it softer and smoother. The mixture expands as the air is pumped into it. Now the ice cream goes into different vats for flavoring. There is vanilla, chocolate, mint, and many other flavors. Often fruits, nuts, raisins, or other foods are added to make different flavors and kinds of ice creams. Now we have ice cream that is very similar to the ice cream made in the first ice cream makers. The different flavored ice creams are sent to their packaging areas. Then containers move along an assembly line. When each container stops, 
A dispenser fills it up and packs it down with soft, tasty ice cream. The packaged ice cream is moved to a freezer room. Inside the room, it is very cold, about negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 29 degrees Celsius. The ice cream becomes hard and firm. It is time for the ice cream to be shipped to stores or other places where it will be sold to customers. The ice cream is moved onto refrigerated trucks that are very cold inside. People buy ice cream at so many different places. Some people order ice cream in restaurants and buy it at ice cream stands. There are ice cream trucks and carts too. Most people buy ice cream at their grocery store. Ice cream can be sold in many different containers. It is available without sugar too. In 1904, at the St. Louis World's Fair, an ice cream vendor ran out of paper cups to scoop ice cream into. A waffle maker in the next booth offered him some of his waffles. The ice cream vendor rolled a waffle into a cone shape and put a scoop of ice cream in it. It was the beginning of the ice cream cone. Ice cream can be enjoyed as many different treats. There are all kinds of ways to eat ice cream.